This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a very short tutorial and in this uh, video I'm going to explain to you guys how you can create leather stitching in Substance Painter. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, welcome to this uh, super quick tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can create leather stitches in um, your texture for your object. Okay, so what I did is I went to uh, File, New, and actually let's just uh, do that. Okay, we'll just make a new one. Okay, we're going to go to select. I'm going to select a simple cube that I created in Maya. Nothing fancy. I exported that as an OBJ. Loaded that up. We're going to leave all of this alone. We're just going to hit OK, right? That brings in our cube. And what we're going to do is there's only one material here. It's a uh, default Lambert from Maya. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add a new layer. And then we're going to go into our default materials. We're going to look for leather. And let's see, we'll take this, we'll take this brown leather here and just drag that in and drop that on. Okay. Now, as we do that, you can see that it's a nice texture and what I'll actually do is I'll go to my viewer settings and I'll bump up the environment opacity so we can kind of see that a little bit better. And then let's see, I don't want that to be so blurry. So I'm just going to change that as well. Looks like I need to go the other way. And there we go, right? Okay, so you can clearly see that this is a leather texture, right? Now, to uh, emphasize the um, texture of our stitches, I'm going to tweak the roughness a bit. So let's see, we'll bring that down a bit. And as we do that, it becomes slightly more shiny, and that's good for our textures, okay? All right, so our stitches. Now, uh, our stitch uh, pattern is basically a brush. And what I did down here is I selected brushes and I just typed in stitch, which will give us these options here. Okay. Now I want to do the stitching on a new layer so I can just add a new one. Right. And then in that layer, I'm going to select this as a brush. And then we go in here and we scroll up. You see that this is our preview for our stitch brush. This is the default brush we're using. That's the alpha, the stitch, and we don't have any stencils, so it's fine, okay? Now, this is trial and error when you set this up. What you need to do is make sure that you have your right color, your right spacing, uh, flow, and so forth, okay? So let's jump into that. So this is what we have so far. So I can tweak the size by making it much bigger, which will give us something like this, okay? Or I can make that smaller, which will give us something like this, which almost looks like a straight line. We'll just level that out a little bit. I can tweak the flow here. And the flow is basically how visible it is. And you can see that that's not so visible. And that is very much visible. Okay, just get rid of that. And then the spacing, very important. I can go here and it will be pretty much a straight line or I can increase that spacing and you'll get that stitch. Okay, let's go back a little. All right, now basically right now what we're doing is we're kind of drawing a dotted line on our leather. That's not what we want. We want it to look like a stitch, okay? So a couple of things we can do if we scroll down, uh, we can change the color if we like. Uh, for example, instead of white, I'm gonna hit the color picker hold that and just drag it over to my default leather color. And when I release that, you'll see that my stitches will become leather color. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Trust me. You can see that little shine there. The reason why we don't see it that well is because of the lack of height or in this case depth. Okay. So let's uh, look at that. We're going to go to our height information and let's make that a negative height because again, we want to uh, kind of uh, engrave that into the leather. And as you can see that, that works perfectly. Okay, so let's do that again. And like I said, if you want to kind of have a colored stitch like that, or maybe even white because you're doing sneakers or whatnot, you're, you're good, okay? Uh, kind of play with that height setting to see what you like best. And like I said, this is where you can do that. 
I'll just do a darker color so you can see it better. You can clearly see that depth, okay? Now, the trickiest thing of all here is to do the lines straight, okay? So let's go with a slightly uh, smaller stitch. I'll set that to white. I'll set the brush size down. Let's do a quick set here. Yep, yeah, so like that. Looks okay. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay. Now the biggest trouble here is how to get that line straight. Okay. And I advise when you're applying stitches like this to your material to uh, use a pen and a tablet if you have one. Okay. But if you do not, what you can do is click on your material and just hold the shift key. Okay. And as you do that, it will create a perfectly straight line from your start point to your end point. So if I want to go under a 45 angle degree, I just hold down my shift and click. Okay. And if you want a double row, and uh, we'll just, uh, oops, sorry about that. We'll just uh, rotate this guy a bit. So let's say you want a double stitch row here. Let's find something where we have a little bit better lighting here. Um, hang on, I'm just gonna rotate my environment here. There we go, okay. So if I want a double row, I'm just gonna hold down shift and kind of make that a straight line. And I'm just gonna go back. Kind of hard to see, but and that's how you do a double stitch row. Okay, so that's pretty much all there's to it. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.